Enjoy watching it. Parents of this kid got in a car accident several months ago. He was with them in the car. Luckily, he survived and soon got discharged from the hospital. Now, this dark-haired guy is heading to his elder sister, which is living in another city with her husband and an 8 years old son, Lucas. His dad died on the spot, while the car was hit from his side. His mom is unconscious, but she lives on hooked up to a life support machine for 5 months already. Doctors are helpless, and they don't give any hope for her swift recovery. Hmm, I haven't been here for a long while. Oh, hey George, come on in! Lily, your brother arrived! Oh Lord, George, I was so worried. Are you okay? Hello to you too, Lily. Everything is okay. Sweetie, I'm sure your brother is tired. He's got to go to school tomorrow. What school? He just arrived. I get it, but nobody cancelled school. So tomorrow his classmaster is coming to pick him up. He does? Yes, remember John? If you're talking about that writer, then I remember. I hope you know English well. Usually he skips foreign languages. I don't think he'll find it acceptable. He will. George, are you okay? You became sort of rude. People grow up and I'm not an exception. Will you have dinner? No, thank you. I'd better go to relax. It's okay. He's just tired after the trip. Finally, I can read that new article on mysticism. Looks like I'm ready. I should get going. He'll be here in a moment. Good morning. Do you want some breakfast? Morning? No, I don't. But what will you eat at school? It's okay. I'll buy him something. Thank you, John. Dude, get in the car. Please, look after him. He's not prone to conflict. If you say so, Lily. Let me go! Shut up already! Hey, let her go! And who the hell are you? I should come up with something. I'm her boyfriend. Her boyfriend? Raising a hand on a child? Well, he came to stand up for a girl. I didn't think about it. I suppose we'll have lots of problems because of you. How dare you! Get out of here until I call the cops. Okay, okay, I'm leaving already, morons. So why did you go there? I heard her shouting, so I decided to help. And did you help her? This guy is several times bigger than you. Do you think Lily wouldn't worry about you? She would worry. Then avoid such situations in the future. Okay. Hey, let me go. No, what if you run away somewhere again? I won't run away, let me go. 
So you're sort of my class master, right? Sort of. But how old are you? Why do you want to know? I'm just curious. I'm 22. And you're living in this lonely spot. Why didn't you leave to US? I came from US. And that's why you're teaching English? Well, you can say that. By the way, we're going camping this weekend. Will you join us? Well, it depends what Lily says about it. I can persuade her if you want me to. That would have been great. You didn't sleep tonight at all. What made you think that? You look kinda sleepy. I was reading an article on mysticism. The things teens read nowadays. Like you never read something like this. I did. Why did you decide to move in here so suddenly? I got it, it's not a good topic. And here we are. Let's go. Let me introduce you. This is George. Well, hello everyone. Mr. Evans, where did you find such cutie? Cutie? <laughs> he got right into my hands by himself. Would you stop this nonsense already? Where can I sit down? You can sit down with Lara at the fourth desk. Are you kidding me? No, have a seat. Bye, guys. Good luck with your class. You're so sweet, like a kitten. Can you meow? I'm not sweet and I'm not going to meow. Excuse me if I was rude. It's okay, it happens. You know what? I've got cat's ears in my backpack. Look how nice it is. You're a wonder. You've already made friends with our girl. Did no one teach you that you can't treat a girl like this? Mr. Evans, this psycho just hit me. He just came and he already made up a fight. Go to the first aid post. Don't blame George, he just stood up for me. Go to the hall, we need to let some air into the room. Let's go. I don't like it. Did Mr. Evans tell you already? We're going camping the day after tomorrow. Are you coming? If John will persuade Lily, then I will. Why do you call our classmaster by name? I was calling him by name since we met. And looks like he doesn't mind. Hey, are you okay? You're all red. Are you having a fever? No, everything is fine. Do you believe in love at first sight? To be honest, no. In this case, people are usually attracted by the appearance. But what if you feel like you know this person for your whole life? Well, I don't even know what to say in this case. Anyway, it seems kinda strange. It's just then there's a new kid in 10th A and I like him so much. So I wanted to confess to him, but I don't know how to do it. Whoa, but what if he has a girlfriend or if he's gay? Let's wear twin clothes tomorrow. Like, what if we'll both be wearing something black with red tomorrow? Okay, I like the idea. In the evening? Why are you so dull? What is it?
Hello, George. Why are you so dull? Is everything okay at school? No, everything is great at school. I even got to know one girl. Then what is it? John is ignoring me for some reason. In the morning everything was fine. Maybe I did something wrong and it upset him. Don't worry, I guess it's something about his work. So are you going camping? John will take you to his place after school. Well, at least I'll be able to relax in the open. Stop complaining that it's cold, you should have taken a jacket. Why did you put this top anyway? Beauty has its price, George. Idiot. Are you coming camping with us? Yes, John will take me to his place today so that tomorrow we could hit the road together. In the evening at John's house. Why are you ignoring me? Did I do something wrong? No, everything is fine. You're dating Lera, right? You're wearing twin clothes, you're hanging out together all the time. No, we're just friends and that twin clothes, it was her idea. Why did you do this? I'm sorry, I don't know what got into me. I can take you back to Lily if you don't want to stay with me any longer. Did you kiss me just because you wanted to satisfy yourself or there's something more? There's something more. It's reciprocal. What are you talking about with Lera so often? Well, at first she started telling me about love at first sight. And I told her that it doesn't exist. She meant that she likes you, right? What? No. Well, to be honest, I don't know. Hmm. Will you be my boyfriend? Well, I don't even know. Okay, okay, I'm just kidding. Of course I will. Is it true that a person who kisses you first will be with you forever? Am I the one who kissed you first? Well, anyway, it's time to go to sleep. You can go if you want to, I don't feel like it. So what are you going to do? I'll read a new article on mysticism. Don't you think it's a little late? We've got to wake up early tomorrow. I will wake up, it's okay, and I wasn't going to stay up all night. I'll just read for a couple of hours and then I'll go to sleep. Okay, fine. Where am I going to sleep? In the bedroom with me or on the sofa? 
Then I guess I'll sleep on the sofa. Good night. Good night. Next day. Good morning. Wake up, sweetheart. Morning. We're leaving soon, right? Yes, get dressed and come to the kitchen. Wonderful apron, Mr. Evans. Sit down at the table, we'll have a breakfast and we'll go to the meeting point. From there we'll head to the forest. Okay. What time did you go to bed yesterday? Around 5 or 6 a.m. Why did you stay up for so long? Well, Lera texted me. She was asking how am I doing in here and so on. Don't you think she's actually got a crush on you? Are you jealous, Mr. Evans? Yeah, right. Dream on. Finish your breakfast. We've got to get going. That's it, George. We've already... Arrived. Sleep tight, princess. Hello, Mr. Evans. Where's George? He's sleeping in the car. Don't bother him if you don't want to see a zombie. Okay. Lara told me that we've got a new kid in the class. Where is he? I didn't see anyone new in here. Yes, it's George. He moved recently in here. Excuse me, but where is he? Or he decided not to come? He's sleeping in my car at the moment. Is he your son? But at what age did you become a father? No, he's a younger brother of my close friend. She asked me to look after him. Oh, I see. Mr. Evans, we forgot the tent at home. It's okay, I'll give you mine. But what about you? You can sleep with me in my tent. What is it? My head aches. Let's go to the car. I'll give you a pill. I'll sleep in a tent with him. Well, fine. Don't Mr. Evans and George seem strange to you? No, I get it that he knows his elder sister, but still... He's just looking after the brother of his friend. What made you so curious about their relationship? Well, when I asked him to look after Lera, he didn't even look at her. 
But Lera is anyway a stranger for him. He's not supposed to be running after her. Let's see what they are doing beside the car. You don't care about privacy at all? Mr. Evans just went to give him a pill. Either you're coming with me or just go back to the camp and get out of my way. Fine, but just out of curiosity. No way, I'm not going to take it without water. So, did you swallow it? Yes, I did. Well done. John, are you an idiot? But there is no one around. John, I'm... John, I guess Lara is looking for me already. So what? She's looking for you and so? Why are you so worried? Maybe you'll start dating her? John, calm down. What is this bout of jealousy? Tonight we'll be sleeping together in your tent. What? Why is that? Didn't you take your own tent? I did, but one of the parents didn't take hers. So out of kindness, I gave her mine and told her that I'll be sleeping with you tonight. George, hi! Wow, we're wearing twin clothes again. That's unexpected. How are you doing? Hi, Lera. Everything is fine. Yes, it's unexpected. Listen, I just took a pill, but I didn't have any water. Could you bring me some juice? Yes, sure. I'll be right back. Sweetie, I'll go and set up our tent. George, I've got the juice. Good evening, lovebirds. Come on, we're going to have a dinner. And listen to spooky stories. Mom! Are you serious? You don't know any scary tales or you're afraid to tell them? Don't you want to scare each other a bit? George, but you're reading articles on mysticism. Maybe you'll tell us something. Well, I'd love to, but only if you won't get scared. Pfft, what am I for you? Some kind of girl? To be scared of some spooky stories? Huh. Well, fine. I'll tell you something now. Some time ago, in 1943, Germans constructed a laboratory under one of the children's camp. It was extremely hard to find the entrance, but kids stayed away anyway because they knew that the consequences might be dire. When the war between USSR and Germany was over, everyone forgot about this camp and only one man stayed in there. 
A group of teenagers bought some key from the fascist's secret laboratory online and went looking for it. Shall we sit down closer? Okay, okay. It took them about a day to find it after they've arrived to this camp. They were thrilled when they found it. Some started making photos with their mobiles. Others were examining every inch with a flashlight. After they went through several rooms, they reached the main one with old computers. When they heard some noise, they all got really tense. Afterwards, they heard some inhuman roaring. It didn't seem like a bear or else. Well, this is the story. Only the guy who woke up this monster survived. There are rumors that this monster is wandering around the forest looking for a new victim. Do you actually believe this? These are some wives' tales. I told at least some stories, so just stay quiet. What was that? Who's in there? I'll go and check it out. No, you won't go there alone with your bare hands. Oh, just relax. George, but this is madness. We're in the forest after all and there might be some wild animal. But can you all just relax? It's just some regular rabbit or squirrel. Listen to me, it's better to take a stone with you at least. I saw a revolver at your house. Did you take it with you? Yes, I did. But what do you need it for? I won't give you a gun. Then just take it out yourself and shoot in the bushes. A rabbit jumps out. I told you, it's nothing unusual. And Lily told me you want her to fly. I already told Lily that I'm not a 15 years old boy anymore. I heard the shots. The guys told me it was you. Is it true? Yes, it's true. It's just that the girls got scared of some cracking in the bushes, so we decided that it was some wild animal. Well, okay then. Will you come with me to the car? I need to take my mobile. Can't you do it yourself? Are you scared to go alone? Yes, right. Very funny. It's just boring to do it alone. Okay, fine. Can you catch me then? I guess it's time to go to sleep. Have a good night. George, I took it, we can... Is he asleep? What a sweetie. For how long are you going to stare at me? Well, me? It's not funny. Relax, you look cute when you blush. Enough! You're like a true little Omega. George, get off of me and let's go to the camp. And 
what if I want? Are you feeling uncomfortable? George, stop it. Otherwise, you won't get out of this car. What a nice weather today! Yes. Hey! John, damn it! Relax. John, it's not funny. I don't have any change of clothes with me. I'll give you my jacket and your pants. Well, you can stay without it for a while. Damn it. What's going on in here? I just poured some water on him, nothing unusual. Yeah, right, but it's actually cold. Mr. Evans, was it some kind of a joke? Yes, but this grouch started complaining right away. John! You can go now. I'll give him my jacket and will join you in a moment. Okay, fine. Get changed and let's go. But what about the pants? Well, take it off if you're afraid to get a cold. No, I'll better keep it. Well, you decide. They don't look that wet, unlike your jacket and your shirt. But your clothes got wet. Whose t-shirt you're wearing? It's John's t-shirt. Why aren't you swimming? I don't feel like. I had a shower in the morning already. George, let's go swimming. John, you're all wet. Go away from me. Hey, relax. Let's go. But why are you forcing him if he doesn't want to? I'm not talking to you, Lara. I'm talking to George, so stay out of it. George, I'm holding you. It's okay. Don't you dare to let me go. I won't let you go. I hope so. But actually, it's not deep in here. I'm standing on my feet. John, just don't. Okay, I got it. 
It was getting late. Everyone got in their cars. John was driving first as he was the only one who knew the way. George was sleeping on the back seat all the way back. As soon as they've reached Liddy's house, George gave John a kiss on the cheek, wished him a good night and went home. Lily, I'm home! Lily, Lucas, where's everybody? Lily? Lily, what happened? Mom, she's... she's... She died. Her heart stopped. We got funeral on Monday. And you're full aged already, so... George! George, open the door, please! What happened? Everything is okay, sweetie. I'll just call Dad so that he came back sooner. Rom, do you need a lift? Hey there, John. I'll get there on my own. Go home. You don't look well. Yes, Lily, I'm listening. Rom, come back home quickly. Why? Lily, what happened? I told that mom is dead and he ran away to the bathroom and locked himself up in there. Lily, he got emotional. It's understandable. But what if he'll hurt himself? Sweetie, he's not a baby to do such nonsense. Fine, Lily, I'm coming. Why are you in such a hurry? I just realized that something happened. But it's nothing extraordinary. George's reaction to the death of his mother was foreseeable. Thanks for the lift. Good luck with the... Lucas, where is mom? Mom is trying to persuade the uncle to go out of the room. George, please, come outside. I'll make you some tea. Lily, step aside, please. What? John, what are you doing in here? I came here with your husband. You'd better go to Lucas. But... No buts, Lily. Just go.
George, please open the door. John? And how will you explain that? George, come here. I'll pour you some tea. I... Lily, I don't want to. Everything is fine. It turned fine after a dude kissed you. Rom, calm down. There is no need to make a scene for no reason. Just stay out of it. I'm 18 already, so I can decide by myself. You're a complete stranger to me, so I'm not going to listen to your shouting and your orders and I'm not going to obey. Sweetie, would you like to move in with me? What? Will you live with me? I don't mind. Lily, I'll pack my things and we're leaving. But he's just out of hand. I told him not to leave the room and he just stands up and leaves. John, stop it already. But you were buried alive. What would have happened if I wasn't so curious? I would have got out of it myself. Enough. Well, you've got kind of interesting situations in this field. Yeah, right, and this jerk always gets lost or disappears somewhere and I have to look for him. I had to save you too, remember how you were running around the forest? Jerk. George was running around the forest? Yes, and also the end. What do you think about this video? Do you like such delivery? Please leave your comment below.